Hey, it's Jay with Surf Thrive. Just sitting here uh, getting in a little walk and I thought I'd do the quick fire version for step two for beginner survival and that's going to be your short term food storage. Uh, quick fire version of it's pretty straightforward. If you're eating out all the time, knock it the hell off. Learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook your own food, how are you going to make your own food when you need to? Second, if you already know how to cook, at least kind of, then every time you go to the store and you're buying shelf stable things for your pantry, your short storage, uh, your short term food storage is your pantry. So if you're out of tuna fish and you're gonna go to the store and buy four cans, buy six or eight. If you're buying hamburger helper, don't buy the two boxes you need, buy four. Macaroni and cheese, buy eight or 10 instead of three or four. And do that every time you go to the store. Pick an item or two, something that you already eat, something that you'll be comfortable eating in an emergency that would be easy to fix without a bunch of water and a bunch of electricity, that type of stuff. And make sure you keep that stocked up. Lastly, when you put that in your storage, you want it to be in a FIFO storage. And that's not FIFO the dog, that's the acronym. First in, first out. So that means you bring home a bunch of crap from the store, pull all that old stuff to the front of the shelf, put all the new stuff behind it, so that you're using the oldest stuff first, the newest stuff last. Do that for six months, and all of a sudden you'll start wondering why you don't have any room left in your pantry. And that means you're finally getting some short-term food storage. Congratulations. Now go out there and be the good.